his every word. He never failed me yet. At this time, can we please rise face to east? Placing our feet in the 45 degree angle, we raising five on the left and two on the right. And repeat the Moorish American prayer after myself and yours. Allah, the Father of the universe. Allah, the Father of the universe. The Father of love. The Father of love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. And my salvation. And my salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. Through his holy prophet. Through his holy prophet. Through Ali. Through Ali. Amen. Amen. Arise, give praises to Allah. And honest. To the last prophet in these days, Prophet Nova Drew Ali. We give honors to our forerunner, the Honorable Marcus Moles or Gorby. I give honors to all our past Supreme Grand Advisor moderators, beginning with our brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother Elf Nelson Bay, and Brother J. Blakely Bay. We give honors to our former Grand Sheik and moderator, Brother R. Love Hill. We give honors to our present day Grand Sheik and moderator over the Moore Science Temple of America, Inc. Brother R. Jones Bay, who's based in Washington, D.C., and to all the national officials who he appointed to aid in the system and the operation of this great program of uplifting fallen humanity. We look at all our respective states, give honor to all our grand governors. We turn here to our local state, here in the state of Missouri, give honor to our grand governor, Brother L. Thompson Bay, to our sister Missouri governor, Brother Z. Street Hill, and I'd like to give honors to our grand chief of subordinate temple number five, Brother T. Austin Neal. We'd like to give honors to all Moorish Americans here, there, and everywhere who continue to do those things instructed by the Prophet Noble Drew Ali that will entitle them to the name of faith. At this time, I'd like to take a reading, Salvation, Our God, Unity, the Moorish Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws, Act One. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of the Moorish Science Temple of America. The assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Act two. All meetings ought to be open and closed promptly according to the Circle 7 in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest. 
because on a Friday the first man was formed in flesh, and on a Friday the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his Father God Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse false with his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because of lies and love. Act four, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws and all members must obey the laws of the government because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and portion of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act five, this organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey her by. Act six, with us all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and a portion of this said government, and know that they're not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noah to Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites, whom inhabit the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must properly attend their meetings and become a part and a portion of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faith. Husbands, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Drew Ali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. Noble Drew Ali founded Moorish American prayer. Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Drew Ali. Amen. The Moor Science Temple of America, home office, 2905 5th Street, Southeast Washington, D.C., 20032. Continuing on with reading Islam, the great meeting is on Asia, Quran, questions for Moorish Americans, page seven. Questionnaire in additional law for the Moorish Americans by the prophet Noah Drew Ali. Act one, grand sheiks and governors and heads of all temples, all businesses. He said temple must be approved by the prophet Noah Drew Ali before acting upon by any members. Let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the members to sacrifice finance, except that will cause the support of any group of members. Any former officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under heavy restriction, except by the prophet or the grand chief. Act two, all members are to attend the adapt meetings at their public meetings properly. If a member is found standing around their meeting period, shall be fined 50 cents on the first case and on the second, he will be fined one dollar, which will go on your emergency fund. If a member is working, his monthly dues must be paid. And if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund because it takes finance to uplift a nation. Act three, it is lawful and divine duty of every good member if he is able to finance. To aid me in saving the nation, and if he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people and justice must catch him. Let it be he or she according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as I have the power invested in my hands, and I will have to enforce the law in order to save the nation.
Act 4, all members while making a public speech must not use any assertion against the American flag or speak radical against the church or any member of any organized group because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Act 5, all members must properly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school. And the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire and let every member exercise his five senses who is able to do so because out from your Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. Act 6, with us all members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are a part and portion of this said government and know that they're not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noah Drew Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabit the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must properly attend their meetings and become a part and a portion of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moor Science Temple. Then you are entitled to the name of faith. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Jew Ali, to the guidance of his father, God Allah. This time I'd like to take a reading from the Holy Quran, the Moor Science Temple of America, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Jew Ali, by the guidance of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God, Allah. My reading will be coming from page 58 and 59. This is chapter 47, Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. And this be instructions 12 through 17. I will also take a read from chapter 48, the end of time, the fulfilling of the prophecies, instruction number four. Divine instructions from the holy prophet. These holy and divine laws are from the prophet Noah Drew Ali, the founder of the United of the Moorish Science Temple of America. These laws are to be strictly preserved by the members of all the temples of the Moorish Science Temple of America, that they will learn to open their meeting and guide it according to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Every subordinate temple of the Grand Major Temple is to form under the covenant of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and create their own laws and customs in conjunction with the law of the Holy Prophet and the Grand Temple. I, the Prophet Nova Drew Ali, was sent by the great God Allah to warn all Asiatics of America to repent from their sinful ways before that great and lawful day which is sure to come. The time has come when every nation must worship under its own vine and fig tree, and every tongue must confess its own. Through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery, due to the fact that they honor not the creed and principles of their forefathers. That is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away from them in 1774, and the word Negro, Black, and Color was given to the Asiatics of America who were of Moors descent because they honored not the principles of their mother and father and strayed after the gods of you of whom they knew nothing. The end of time and the fulfilling of the prophecy. The Moore Science Temple of America is a lawfully chartered and incorporated organization. Any subordinate temple that desires to receive a charter, the prophet has them to issue to every state of the United States, etc. 
Islam. Tonight, we will have song, song by Brother T. Martin Eel. I'm building me a home, Temple Number Seventy One, Washington D.C. First speaker will be Brother C. Bogan Eel, Assistant Grand Chief for Temple Number Forty Eight, Trenton, New Jersey. Followed by a song, This Little Light of Mine, which will be sung by Sister B. Vaughn Eel, Temple Number Forty Three, Mount Clemens, Michigan. Followed by speaker brother R. Davis Bay, Grand Sheep, Branch Temple Number 12, Tennessee. Followed by a song, I Know I've Been Changed, by brother J. Fuqua Bay, Temple Number 25, Detroit, Michigan. The last speaker of the evening will be brother P. Chase Hill, Grand National Chairman of the Moore's Science Temple of America, Inc., Grand Sheep of Temple Number 71, Washington, D.C. Followed by a song, Great Day, song by Brother J. and V. Bell Bay, Temple Number 57, Lockport, Illinois. And we will have our divine warning bringing the meeting to its close, read by Brother R. Davis Bay, Grand Governor, Branch Temple Number 12, Tennessee. Happy Holy Day, Moors. Let's enjoy the service. If you hear me praying, I'm building me a home. If you hear me praying, I'm building me a home. My Lord, this earthly house is going to soon decay. And the soul of mine gotta have somewhere to stay. So if you see me serving, I'm building me a home. If you see me serving, I'm building me a home. My Lord, this earthly house. It's gonna soon decay And the soul of mine Gotta have somewhere to stay So if you see me working I'm building me a home If you see me working I'm building me a home, my Lord, this earthly house is going to soon decay. And the soul of mine got to have somewhere to stay. I'm building me a home. 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 My Lord, this earthly house is going to soon decay. And the soul of mine gotta have somewhere to stay it's lime boys it's lime first of all i give all praises due to allah the great god of the universe i give honor to his illustrious prophet the last prophet in these days prophet noble Jalil. i extend honors to his former brother marcus masaya garvey I extend honors to all true and divine prophets, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and Confucius, ETC, just to name a few. I extend honors to all our past leaders, Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay, Brother J. Blake Bay, forth to our former and past Grand Sheik and moderator, Brother R. Love Ill. I extend honors to uh, present Grand Sheik and moderator, Brother R. Jones Bay. I extend honors to his assistant, Brother A. Hopkins Bay. I extend honors to all officials, national, state, and local. I extend honors to all Sheik and Sheikas. I extend honors to the membership of the Moore Science of America. I extend honors to the youth and yet unborn. I extend honors to my family. I extend honors to all my ancestors, all my ancient ancestors. I extend honors to each and every one of you who are out there tonight 
It's an honor for all those who couldn't be with us, but would love to be with us. It's an honor to minors do. Islam boys. Happy holy day. Um, I'm not gonna tarry too long, but uh the spirit got me rumbling. It's a beautiful day, it's a holy day, holy day for all Muslims all over the world as a custom in the more science of America. I'm gonna take a um read out the holy read, the holy Quran. Uh the holy Quran of the more science symbol of America, circle seven divinely prepared uh by the noble prophet Jerali, by the guiding of his father God Allah. <clears throat> Great God, the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen state of humanity. Back to the highest plane of life, this Father God Allah. Back cover, know yourself and your Father God Allah, that you <clears throat> may learn to love instead of hate. Every man need to worship under his own vine and fig tree, uniting of Asia. I'm going to bring your attention more to uh, page 26. Um, this is chapter 17, divine instructions from the Holy Prophet. Uh, Jesus appears fully materialized before Apollo and the sound of brotherhood in Greece appears to Claudius and Juliet on Tiber near Rome, appears to the priest in the Egyptian temple at Heliopolis. I'm not going to read this chapter in its entire. I'm only reading a few verses and I'm going to also read just a few verses from uh, chapter 17. Um, I'm going to read out chapter, uh, I mean, chapter 18 to I'm reading chapter 17 right now. Just a few verses. I'm just going to read uh, 10, 11, 14, and uh, 45. 10, 11, and uh, 14 is on page 26 more. Uh, verse 10 states, Behold, for I have risen from the dead with gifts for men. Bring to I bring to you the title of your vast estate. Verse 11, all power in heaven and earth is mine. To you, I give all power in heaven and earth. Verse 14, what I can do, all men can do. Go teach the gospel of the omnipotence of man. If I could bring your attention to page 28, uh, verse 45, Morris. Uh, what I have done, all men can do. What I am, all men shall be. Praise Allah. Praise I'm Allah. going to uh, take a few uh, verses from uh, chapter 18, which is also on page 28. That's uh, the resurrection of Jesus. Pilate places the Roman seal upon the stone door of the tomb. At midnight, a company of the silent brotherhood march about the tomb. The soldiers are alarmed. Jesus teaches to the spirits in prison. Early Sunday morning, he rises from the tomb, the soldiers are bribed by the priests to say that the disciples had stolen the body. If I could bring your attention to uh, page twenty-nine, I am um, actually I'm going to, I'm going uh, at the bottom of page twenty-eight. Excuse me. I'm going to start at uh, verse fifteen, and I'll end at uh, twenty-five on page twenty-nine. Islam. Now, Jesus did not sleep within the tomb. The body is manifest of soul, but soul is without its manifest. And in the realm of souls unmanifested, the Lord went and taught. He opened up the prison doors and set the prisoners free. He broke the chain of captive souls and led the captives to the light. Verse 19, he sat in council with the patriarchs and prophets of the olden times. 20, the masters of all times and climes he met. And in the great assemblies, he stood forth and told the story of his life on earth and of his death and sacrifice for man. 21, and of his promises to clothe himself again in garb of flesh and walk with his disciples just to prove the possibilities of man. 22, to give them the key of life, of death, and of the resurrection of the dead. 23, and count all the masters sat and talked about the revelations of the coming age. When she, the holy breath, shall fill the earth and air with holy breath and open up the way of man to perfect an endless life. 25, the garden of Siloam was silent on the Sabbath day. The Jewish soldiers watched and no one else approached the tomb 
but on the following night, the scene was changed. Islam, Lord, I read those um, verses in um, chapter uh, 17 and 18 for the aspect that we're dealing with thought. Prophet Noble Jali said, if I can get you to think you can save yourself from destruction, chaos, misery, ETC. We're dealing with thought. And this is what the prophet Jesus is talking about here. Um, there's allegorical hidden meanings within this. And I'm being opened up as I continue to study self. Can't study nobody else but self. It's about the knowledge of self and Allah, period. And we're dealing with thought. Where's the nearest place we can meet them? In the heart. You know, it's the heart, that thought. And when you look at, especially these verses here in uh, chapter 18, where Jesus uh, opened up the prison doors and in the, and uh, set the prisoners free, you know, he had to still teach. He was on the soul plane. Now we, we, he's not, he's on a higher level now. Because remember, the vibration is slower right now. We can see each other. But this is still that illusion. But as you raise up, when your thought changes, your condition changes. So when you look at these verses here, and he talked to the um, uh, prisoners, right? Using that allegorical aspect, you know, you're in prison. He set the prison, you know, he opened up the prison doors and set the prisoners free. You know, they were chained down and they were imprisoned. They were incarcerated through thought. It's the same thing. Prophet Noble Jirali came to release us from mental slavery. We have been free physically, you know, so all praise is due to Allah. Um, we just have to change the condition of our thought. And it still does not uh, move when we... Uh, past the past the form that's why the body got to be disintegrated and i'm getting ready to get off the body got to be disintegrated i just want you to keep in mind that once we collect our thought then we can free ourselves to move forward and be in tune with the deific will all praise is due to allah love you Morris. came in peace i leave in peace peace this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Drew Ali gave it to me, and I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Drew Ali gave it to me, and I'm gonna let it shine. Drew Ali gave it to me, and I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. All in my home, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, all in my home, I'm gonna let it shine. All in my home. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Islam, Islam. All praise be to Allah, the Father of the universe, the Almighty and Comprehensible. To Allah alone belong. Thanksgiving, worship, adoration, and praise. And in that same breath, learning to love instead of hate, being grateful for the thought, for learning what thought is, how to use it 
how to apply it, how to live by it. I'd like to extend honors to my prophet, the world's prophet, Prophet Nova Drew Ali, a mighty man who has been kept a secret, but he's not a secret anymore. He is truly a great blessing for people who have no whereabouts of where, of where they're from, of where they're going. The people who are simply, simply misnamed. And in that same thought of people misnamed, there was one who was the forerunner of the prophet, Marcus Mosiah Gar. I'd like to extend an honors to that brother. In that same breath, I'd like to extend honors with all of the honors previously given by those speakers before me. And I'd like to greet you in our native tongue, which simply means peace, Islam. I pray that all is well with everyone who is under the sound of my voice, who is paying attention, who is watching, who is just browsing through. Pray that all is well with you. I am truly grateful to be here on this holy day, especially with a new Moorish year, a new Moorish calendar beginning. And the speaker before me, all praise be to Allah. Thank you for that, Muslim. I needed that lesson. And with me receiving my lesson for the day, I'd like to share one with everyone. Pardon me. I'd like to take a brief reading from the Holy Quran of the Moore Science Temple of America. Founded by Nova Drew Ali, divinely prepared this pamphlet for by the Prophet Nova Drew Ali. And for those of you who have a Quran, you can turn to page seven. And We will be reading from chapter three, Elihu's lesson, the unity of life. And I won't be long. And the reason why I choose this chapter is because some may have heard me say this several times, but it is always important. Allah has blessed us to understand ups, downs, good and bad, higher selves and lower selves. And the better we understand those things, the better we can live life. We go to work every day. We deal with issues and problems every day outside of work, just in regular, ordinary life. But if you can settle your mind and purify your heart, you can get through anything. Get through anything especially with the love of Allah. Let us read Elihu's lesson, The Unity of Life. Instruction one, again, Elihu met his pupils in the sacred grove and said, no man live unto himself, for every living thing is bound by cords to every other living thing. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will love and not demand love in return. They will not do to other men what they would not have other men do unto them. I know family mores. Seekers of the light. I know that's a hard one to bear. But it can be done. You can do it. Exercise your strength. Dig deep within yourself. And allow a lot to shine on the outside from within. That love is there. Let us continue on. They will not do to other men what they would not have other men do unto them. There are two selves, the higher self and lower self. 
The higher self is human spirit clothed with soul, made in the form of Allah. The lower self, the carnal self, the body of desires, is a reflection of the higher self, distorted by the murky ethers of the flesh. Remember, a distortion. The lower self is an illusion and will pass away. The higher self is Allah in man and will not pass away. The higher self is the embodiment of truth. The lower self is truth reversed and so is falsehood manifest. The higher self is justice, mercy, love, and right. The lower self is what the higher self is not. The lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. The higher self is the mother of virtues and the harmonies of life. The lower self is rich in promise, but poor in blessedness and peace. It offers pleasure, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. It gives me an apples that are lovely to the eye and pleasant to the smell. Their cores are full of bitterness and gall. If you would ask me what to study, I would say yourselves. And you well have studied them. And then would ask me what to study next. I would reply yourselves. And I just like for everyone to think and remember with that. Tend to you. Our parents have taught us growing up, mind your own business. Well, a part of living this life and mastering things is tending to you. Remember that you are where Allah lives. And if you take care of you, then you're taking care of his temple, his palace, his dough. Man, purify yourself, allow his love to come out of you and be shared with others. Allow love to do what it is meant to do, and that is be the savior of the world. Islam, I leave you as I can. Peace.
Islam, most American Muslims, Islam, brothers and sisters, all praise is due to Allah, the great God of the universe, our Father and our Lord, who has blessed us to be here once again on this Friday, holy day for Muslims all over the world, Islam, wayfarers, seekers after truth, all those who can see and hear me at the sound of my voice, happy holy day, Moors. Happy Holy Day, brothers and sisters. Happy Holy Day, family. It's a blessing to be here in the Morris Science Temple of America, seeking the truth and learning to love instead of hate. I give praise to Allah, the great God of the universe, who is our Father and our Lord, who has blessed us to see another day, to eat, breathe, and see the world, and, and, and just to wonder at his glorious prerogative and why, how he has made us in his image and after his likeness. Man is not the body nor the soul, but we are spirit and a part of Almighty God Allah. And it's a blessing to know that we are his children. I give honor to his last prophet in these days, the Redeemer, who is the prophet and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, Prophet Noble Drew Ali, who has come in due time to redeem man from his sinful ways and to warn him of the great wrath, which is sure to come upon the earth. I give honor to all true and divine prophets of Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, etc. I give honor to the former of the prophet, Brother Marcus Garvey. I give honor to all Supreme Grand Advisors and moderators of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay, and Brother J. Blakely Bay. I give honor to Brother Allah Bill, our former Grand Sheik and moderator, past and to our present Grand Sheik, who is the moderator, Brother R. Jones Bay. I give honor to the Assistant Grand Sheik of the Morris Science Temple of America, Brother A. Hopkins Bay, and to all our national officials and their offices and stations, to all our state officials, to all the Grand Governors, and here in Washington, D.C., our Grand Governor, Brother H. Harris Bay, and his assistant, Brother T. Dozier Bay. I give honor to all of these sheiks and sheikesses, I give honor to our flag, with our Moorish flag, flag of our descent, and to the American flag, flag of our birth. I give honor to the charter with its 10 great wonders and mysteries and gives us a divine and legal right to practice and promote the teachings of our holy prophet, Noble Drawley. I give honor to all the literature that Prophet Noble Dwali brought for the uplifting of fallen humanity. I give honor to all our auxiliaries, to all our members. I give honor to man, because when you honor man, you honor Allah. And what you do for man, you do for Allah. And we're here to serve. The purpose of this great movement, we're learning that is to uplift fallen humanity. And we uplift fallen humanity by our service service to mankind. He teaches us who we must serve, the near kin, those who are no kin, the stranger at your gate, and the foe who seeks to do you harm. Assist the poor and help the weak and do harm to none and cover not what is not yours. This is a great movement, Moors. This is a great day. Praise be to Allah for this Friday holy day for all Muslims all over the world. I give honor to the two ministers that came before me. Praise be to Allah for them for sharing those uplifting words and, and, and expounding upon the teachings of our holy prophet, Noble Dwali. We're in the right place, Moors. This is for all of humanity. Remember, our forefathers founded the first religious creed for the redemption and salvation of mankind on earth. Not just the Moors Americans, but for mankind. And so we're in the right place. We are practicing the religion of our forefathers, 
And we must go back to that state of mind of our ancient forefathers who founded the holy city and, and practice those things that will bring us closer to our Father God, Allah. And so we must make sure that we are being in tune with the deific will and bring our will in tune with it so that we can be at one. Because we're trying to seek that oneness, that oneness with our Father God Allah, that one thought. Allah has sent many messengers to man so that he can come back in line and back in tune with him and be obedient to the laws of God. Through sin and disobedience, we suffered slavery. That was our own doing. We wanted to gratify a part of us that is the illusion, that lower self. It had a beginning and it will have an end. But man is everlasting because he is a spirit and a part of Almighty God, Allah. I give praise to Allah and I thank him for this moment. I thank him for this hour, this time that we have together to come together in congregation to unite and thought Friday and, and in our meetings. And of course, throughout the week, when we raise our thoughts to infinite wisdom, we unite and thought on our Father God, Allah. And what we wanna do, make sure that we uh, sing songs of thanksgiving and praise his holy name for all the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. Yes, the world is awry and people are going through the ways of life. We must not be the ones, the most American Muslims who are practicing. And practicing is the operative word. You must practice. You must proclaim and practice these teachings. The only way you grow and unfold is that you practice the teachings of our Holy Prophet. And you humble yourself and let Allah guide you and let the Holy Prophet's words reign supreme in your heart and mind. He said, every word I speak is spirit and you more is it better heed. And what we want to do is make sure that we heed the prophet's words because he knows the way and he is the master and he left his footprints clearly cut so we could see that he, our master, went that way. The paths that Allah has opened before us, we must stay on those paths. And he said, we're not along the way. So we don't want to, yes, this body is going to get tired. It's going to have pain and it's going to sometimes wear down. But we raise our thought so that we can continue to strive and go forward. The key is to turn from sin, strive for purity in life. And someone talked about purity earlier. And purification is the process that would direct us and lead us to love. But we must purify ourselves because there's so much that we have accepted and so much that has been put in us. And so once that comes with this carnal nature that we must purify ourselves so that we can clean up our thoughts, clean our hearts and minds so that we can allow love to come in and, and help to guide us to get on that ladder of salvation. So the first step is belief. And this is what man thinks perhaps is true. The second step is faith. And this is what man knows is true. Fruition is the last, and this is man himself, the truth. We must be. That's what this is all about. Be. Just as Jesus, you must be the message that you bring. We must be the truth, because man as truth abides. And as we free ourselves by practicing the principle of truth, because the truth is what makes you free, and then we must establish all of the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and they must be uh, practice collectively. At the same time, you must unite them so that you can have control over yourself and gain the mastery that we must have in order for us to reunite with our Father, God, Allah. It's a great day, Moses. I'm just glad to be back and, and share a few words from our Holy Prophet and hear my brothers uh, who came before me to share those words of truth and hear the songs of thanksgiving that the Moors are singing and that lifts our spirit, that helps us to vibrate in such a way that we can give each other strength to talk. And praise be to Allah, we need the strength that, that we must have to fight the good fight, to fight our lower self. Fight is not within it, with nobody else, it's within yourself. 
and you must fight the lower self with these divine instructions. And as we apply them to our life, we gain wisdom. So we want to make sure that we are practicing on a consistent basis so that we can help the prophet in this great program, the uplifting for humanity. I'm going to have a reading from my Holy Quran, the Moral Science of America, Moral. I just feel good today. All the time on our Holy Day meetings, we must come with the right, an uh, open heart and an open mind so that we can receive. Allah has a message for each and every one of us. And when you hear the message, that's just for you. And he will speak to us. Sometimes others might not know what we're going through, but Allah will send a message to you so that it can touch your heart. And as we study these divine truths, it's a message in this Holy Quran, the Moral Science Temple of America for every ailment, every ill that we will suffer here on the plane of things made manifest. And this is our medicine that we must take and take it on a regular basis so that you can gain health and heal from within. I'm going to read from chapter 10. That's on page 16, the divine instruction from the Holy Prophet. Jesus spake on the unity of Allah and man to the Hindus. He said, Benares is the sacred city of the Brahms, and then Benares Jesus taught. Udraka was his host. Udraka made a feast in honor of his guests, and many high-born Hindu priests and scribes were there. And Jesus said to them, with much delight, I speak to you concerning life the brotherhood of life. The universal Allah is one, yet he is more than one. All things are one. By the sweet breath of Allah, all life is bound in one. So if you touch a fiber of a living thing, you send a thrill from center to the outer bounds of life. And when you crush beneath your foot the meanest worm, you shake the throne of Allah and cause the sword of life to tremble in its sheath. The bird sings out his songs for men, and men vibrate in unison to help it sing. The ant constructs its home to be its sheltering cone. The spider weaves her web, and flowers breathe to them a spirit in their sweet perfume that gives them strength to toil. Now men and birds and beasts and creeping things are deities made flesh, and how dare you kill anything? It is cruelty that makes the world awry when men have learned that when they harm a living thing, they harm themselves, they surely will not kill nor cause the thing that Allah has made to suffer pain. Praise be to Allah. We must learn that. that we, when we harm a living thing, we do a wrong to Allah. So praise be to Allah for these divine instructions. And remember, we are connected by force to every other living thing. There's a harmony a rhythm to all of life. And we disturb that rhythm when we step out of bounds, when we do that which is against the laws of God. So we must stay in tune. We must stay conscious at all times of what we're doing and how we're thinking. And the brother talked about it. It's about the thought and our thoughts must be pure. So we must clean our heart and minds up with love we must make sure that we are thinking on high, looking for the best in others, and giving them the best that is in us. And that's a job because sometimes, because man is truth and falsehood strangely mixed and we have a higher and lower self, it's oftentimes challenging. But it's not impossible because Jesus showed us the way and someone just read it. He said, what I have done, all men can do. So we must do it. We must prove the strength of Allah made manifest. And that, that strength is love, because Allah is love. And he is the savior of the world. And love is the savior of the world. So what we must do is practice these teachings. We must unite in thought. We must let this more science temple of America, which is the beacon light for mankind on earth, we must let it shine. So people can see their way through the darkness of the, and the chaos of this world of carnal things. And then we will march forward toward that nobler life which the future holds for the races of men.
Praise be to Allah, my brothers and sisters. I pray that Allah bless each and every one of you and continue to allow his protection and guidance forever be upon you by being obedient and humble to his divine instruction. Obey your prophet and be good morals. Peace. proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical agitating speeches while at work in their homes or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, and freedom. And when these principles are violated, justice then must take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will, re will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deed. All true Moors will and must obey the laws laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card, button, cease wearing their turban or fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Nobu Juali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sins by order of Prophet Nubuju Ali. Peace. 
Slime moors, can we all rise? Face to east, place our feet in the 45 degree angle. We raise the five on the left, two on the right. Repeat the Moorish American prayer after myself and yours. Allah, the Father of the Universe. Allah, the Father of the Universe. The Father of Love. The Father of Love. Truth, 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 tru